charred grass is about all that's left in a field where a medical helicopter with three people on board went down. The question this evening is, what caused it to crash? Nurse Ryan Duke seen here and pilot Al Harrison died. Paramedic Michael Eckerd survived. He is in the hospital tonight. News 9's Rusty Surratt is live at the crash site near Okarchi, where the NTSB just wrapped up speaking to us. Rusty? Yeah, they're telling us that they're wrapping up day one of its investigation. They are not alone out here. They do have members of the FAA that are with them. Also out here in this field, they do have members and representatives of the company that makes this particular model of medical helicopters and the company that makes the engines that go into these type of aircrafts. Now, today we're being told that all of these people were out of this Kingfisher County field working together to begin documenting the wreckage that that is still out here. After that is wrapped up, they'll begin working on a, their full-scale investigation into what may have happened. Now, in the meantime, sources say that the sole survivor of this crash is telling others that something may have happened in mid-flight, something with the door on the helicopter, something may have come off the door and hit the rotator, and that may have uh, contributed to this crash. The NTSB investigator we talked to says he can't comment on that because it's too early, but he did say this will be a very difficult investigation because of the fire that happened after the accident. It makes it difficult. It'll be something that we'll have to slowly work through and figure out uh, how did the fire alter different parts. Now, that NTSB investigator says he has yet to talk to the medic who survived the accident. He's expecting to do that in the next day or so. He's also saying that in the next five or six days, they will be issuing a preliminary report on what they found out in this field and what they heard from witnesses, and they're expecting a final report to be due out, hopefully sometime within the next six to 12 months.